god might get nervous. And approaches with his weapon drawn. I'm what you by the order of the Yarl. Stop right there. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time. But even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these.
good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and mare fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Eliad, Dwemer, Daedric, not even Falmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience, but can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magicka, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, intrude. I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We are involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Psijic Order here in the College. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you, specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Technically, that is true, but I still report to the Old Merry Dominion, and I cannot ignore this situation. Don't worry. You can return to your petty squabbles and meaningless research as soon as this matter is resolved. Now, you are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. It is good to meet you in person. I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. 
The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath, but we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help, but this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? Well, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please. Don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. I've seen documents dating back to the late Second Era. Beyond that, it's hard to say. Events in the last several hundred years resulted in a significant loss of our history, I'm afraid. Now, if you'll excuse me.
It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. The college will be here for you no matter what. We always look after our own. Well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Underneath the college, it's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, please do be careful. Take care now. Perseverance will only lead to disappointments. Still, you persist. Very well, you may enter. I am that which you have been seeking. Your efforts are in vain. It has already begun. But those who have sent you have not told you what they seek. What you seek. You seek that which all who wield magic seek. Knowledge. You shall find this. Knowledge will corrupt, it will destroy, it will consume. You seek meaning, shelter in knowledge. You will not find it. The Thalmor sought the same thing, and it shall lead to his end, as it has so many others. The one who calls himself Ancano. He seeks information about the Eye, but what he will find shall be quite different. His path will cross yours in time, but first you must find that which you need. You and those aiding you wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center. 
So you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your Archmage. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. It's no secret that the college... Really? And what might that be? I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff. But I'm not really sure that any of us need it. And how do you know of this? Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. A most impressive attitude. Keep this up, and you'll do quite well for yourself. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. Mirabelle is helpful in locating the staff. If there are any problems, let me know. It's my job to keep things running smoothly. Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? I see. Well, yes, I suppose I did mention it. Though I'm not sure what he expects me to tell you. I only brought it to his attention a few months back when the Synod showed up here looking for it. They were apparently under the impression we were keeping it in a closet somewhere. Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the Imperial Authority on Magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mzulft, but that's all I remember. 
It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mazulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. <laughs> 